What's up everybody? Welcome back to Medellin, Colombia. Right now I'm actually sitting on top of a mountaintop outside of the city of Medellin, well still in the city limits, but outside of the city center in a favela known as Barrio Pablo Escobar. Yeah, you heard that right guys. Right now I'm in a barrio that was actually built by Pablo Escobar in the late 80s, early 90s. And here, he built over a thousand homes while running for presidency here in Colombia. And unlike many other regions here in the country, here, they actually really, really love him. And there's a lot of symbols of Pablo Escobar throughout the barrio. Right now, we're actually in the middle of the favela and I'm not gonna lie to you guys we started the journey up there where the taxi dropped us off but unfortunately it was a bit sketchy so we're gonna continue the walk how do you feel here I feel okay I know that the people here are fine and nice hopefully it's gonna be good it's gonna be a good time it should be right yeah, yeah, yeah. as you can tell a lot of the buildings here and homes are built out of bricks with concrete mixing in between them and a lot of them are hollow right now I'm gonna take you guys on a walk through the hood guys i hope you enjoy this video and hopefully everything goes okay so as i mentioned this video was going to be a little bit controversial because well as you guys know pablo escobar did a lot of horrible things to people and to the country of colombia as a whole but it just so happened that with all the bad he also did plenty of good things for a few people, a few of those lucky individuals that didn't manage to make it onto his bad side. Now, this favela is actually pretty dense. It goes up a lot higher. Right now, we're starting to walk down into a much more remote area into the favela to try and show you guys one of the most iconic paintings of Pablo Escobar. Now, when I started this, Now today it is extremely hot here in Medellin. Buenas tardes. It is extremely hot here in Medellin, but buenas tardes. But the weather is actually not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not super humid. Not super dry like it has been the past few days. Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Muy bien, gracias. The Colombian people are always so friendly. So even when you find yourself in situations like this where, you know, it might not necessarily be the nicest area to walk through, the people are still somewhat friendly. Now, it's actually said that when Pablo Escobar was looking at building his own town here in Medellin, he was looking for an area where a lot of the people were suffering and a lot of the people were poor. And this is the barrio he chose, was up here on this hillside where there really wasn't many homes at all. And now because of the man himself, there are homes everywhere. And there are over 150,000 inhabitants here in this favela. Absolutely insane, right? Now, when you come out to any of the major streets, you're actually going to be able to tell that they look pretty normal, pretty normal. And yeah, just like anywhere else you would find in Medellin. But a lot of the places actually have Pablo Escobar's face on it, like this one here. This barbershop is actually called El Patron and there's Pablo Escobar's face on it. And there's also another little tienda store over here on the side that says El Patron as well. How cool is that? Hola. Me encanta tu peluquería. ¿A cuánto están los cortes? A 10,000. A 10,000. Okay, ahorita me voy a cortar. I'm going to get a haircut too as well for you guys. So we'll be getting a haircut in the El Patron Barbershop before we leave here today. Now, let's actually come up over here and take a look at what Itamar's looking at. There's actually a guy working as a red and green light for the traffic coming up to the hill. Now, I'm not really too sure if there is like any crazy illegal activity still going on here in this area because the whole way up, there was actually like people stopping by and uh, I seen a couple kids on walkie talkies and things like that. So a bit sketchier, but here we are guys. We made it to the monument of Pablo Escobar. Let's actually walk up here. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm starting to sweat quite a bit, but we have made it. This is exactly what we were coming down here to look at today was this mural. It's one of the most famous ones here. Up here it says, Bienvenidos 
Arbario Pablo Escobar. Aquí se respira paz. Right here we breathe peace. And of course here you have a picture of Pablo himself. Now, as I mentioned, a lot of people find this very, very controversial. A lot of people do not like this man at all because he was in fact responsible for thousands of lives lost during the war against the cartel versus Colombia. So the war on drugs here costed a lot of lives. Now, let's actually walk up over here because I did notice that there was a few more paintings over here on this area. I think that might also be him as well. You can tell that the pavelas where we just walked down are extremely dense. We actually just walked down from all the way up there and this was only like the lower third of the area. Wow, this wall right here actually says Pablo. Crazy, right guys? I don't know, I find it super interesting, super interesting that there's a place in the world that idolizes people like Pablo Escobar. Just here. Insane. Now, from the looks of most things though, guys, I think a lot of these paintings were in fact put here for tourism because of the simple fact that, well, dude, tourists from all around the world come here because of Pablo Escobar, come here and visit Medellin because of that crazy deep history that lies here in Colombia. And what better way to attract tourism, bring in money to a local community than putting this man's face absolutely everywhere. Now, for the most part, I'm noticing that everything is flowing as usual. People are walking, heading to their normal jobs, as we mentioned, we have this guy up here holding a red and green sign. You got people selling snacks. Hola, como estas, bro? <laughs> so nice. Kid just came up and grabbed me. And as I mentioned, guys, sorry if I am sweating a little bit too much. It is extremely hot. On top of that, I'm also extremely nervous walking around with my camera here in this barrio because, like I said, we are pretty far away from the comfort zone here in Medellin. We're in an area where they say tourists shouldn't go and it's considered a no-go red listed area. But for the sake of content, for the sake of YouTube, I had to bring you guys along. Now I'm actually gonna be getting a haircut at the El Patron Barbershop or the Pablo Escobar Barbershop. But first, I wanted to show you guys a bit more of what I was seeing. So right above the mural, I actually just came across this small like museum with a bunch of photos of Pablo Escobar and his biggest Sicarios. Insane, right? I wonder what's in here. Oh, it's a small gift shop. Wow, they actually have a life-size statue of Pablo. What? With the walkie-talkie. So yeah, these here are like all of his mug shots. This is actually one of the most famous ones that tied him to the drug trade here in Medellin. Before this mugshot, people were really just wondered all around Colombia, how is this man so rich? Wow, dude, so much money was on this man's head. Right here it says that they're 2,700. Wow, dude, 2,700 million pesos was on this man's head. Up here, it went up to 5 million. 100 million, holy moly, dude. This guy was so wanted, wow. Here's a picture of Escobar actually when he was shot on top of the rooftop, not too far from here. Should we go check out the rooftop? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see the roof where Pablo died. Insane. So, out here, Actually, there's some people on the tour, so let's keep quiet. Let me just show you guys around. So this here is actually the gate to the Napolas, Napoles, which is actually like the big zoo that Pablo Escobar built here in Medellin. And it's quite funny because he actually brought in a bunch of hippos from different places in the world. And now there's actually hippos in Colombia as well as many other species that 
were never found here before. Incredible, right guys? Now, I, like I mentioned earlier at the start of the video, I really didn't know how to come off with this video because, um, well, let's be honest, Pablo caused a lot of harm to the nation, to the world, and most importantly, man, a lot of lives were lost because of the decisions he chose to make. Now, right now, I'm actually, you know, starting to see a bit of some of the good that he did do for the people here in Colombia. However, it still doesn't outweigh all of the negative, in my opinion. Now, right now, we're actually going to continue walking around and enjoying this beautiful neighborhood but i have a feeling that this is where this video is going to come to an end and that is simply because i am actually filming right now for my main channel a much more in-depth video to the barrio pablo escobar and i also really want to make that raw video for you guys inside of the pablo escobar barber shop because man i'm past you for a haircut and what a crazy experience that would be so for now guys i think i'll leave you with one more look at this neighborhood before saying bye actually you know what let me take you guys up here for a second because i think you guys would really like to see the way things look like up here it's a much more local side of things you can tell all of the locals wash their clothing and hang it out on the electrical wow on the liter on literally the electrical cables so cool Anyways, guys, as always, please remember to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a few days for another adventure from here in Medellin. Be on the lookout for that haircut as well. It's going to be cool.